back today with a boxy charm unboxing. We are just on a roll this week with all of the unboxings, but all of my subscription boxes are rolling in. So I am so excited to open them up with you guys because I know that you like to see what's in them just as much as I do. Before we dive in, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you always know when I upload a new video. And let's get started. So I just received my first BoxyCharm in the mail today and I am so excited. I used to be subscribed to BoxyCharm a while back, but then took a break from it for a while and I am so excited to be receiving the box again because this subscription box by far is the best one in my opinion. You get the most for your money. This one is $21 a month and you usually get between $100 and $150 worth of product each month in this box. So let's see what we got in the box this month. So opening up the box, this is what it looks like inside. Okay, so they always have a theme every month and this month makeup is art is the theme. And what I really love about BoxyCharm is it comes with this instructional card which tells about all of the products in your box and how much they retail for. So I love that, that is super helpful because sometimes you get a product that's kind of new and inventive and you have no idea what to use it for. So the card is very helpful. Uh, looks like there's also a coupon in here for HelloFresh. This is a food box um, with $35 off your first box. So, little coupon. All right, diving in, we're going to grab this first product out of the box, which is the Brow Gal. So this is a brow palette, wet dry convertible powder and pomade duo for brown hair. I wonder if they planned that out and everyone got the right colored hair or if everyone got brown. Leave me a comment down below if you get BoxyCharm and let me know if you got the corresponding hair color or if everyone got brown. Gosh, this is really hard to get into. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. And on the inside, some little powders there. And a backwards mess. Do your face a favor? Do your face a favor. It says do your face a favor, but it says it backwards. So I'm not sure what that's all about. That's a little weird, but anyways, um, I also saw in our box here this little eyebrow brush and spoolie dual ended tool which is also by the same brand the brow gal so these two come together which is kind of cool that they paired these together for us so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out okay let's see what it says on our card about these products it says it is a powder pomade duo that acts as a powder when used dry or as a pomade when used wet. Hmm. Well, we're going to try it both ways. So I'm going to start by brushing my brows into place. And then I'm going to spritz my brush with some Fix Plus. And... I think I'm going to mix these two colors and see how that looks on my brows. Okay, so I feel like that did a pretty decent job on my brows. I'm not sure it's something I would reach for to use wet on a regular basis, but I would definitely use the powder as a setting powder to use on top of a brow pomade or something like that. But this would be a handy little compact to bring when you're traveling in case you don't want to bring very many products, then you could just get your brush wet, dip into here, and you would have a powder and a pomade in one. So that is a pretty cool product and I do love that it came with a brush. Let's see what's next in our box. I am going to grab this big palette guy right here 
which is a highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty. Very cool. I love getting palettes. So it looks like it comes with a little instructional card with some tips on how to contour. Oop, okay, that's gone. And then here is the palette. That is what it looks like. Looks like it's got some nice shades in here. So I'm going to try some of those. I'm going to put some of this powder under my eyes to see if it brightens it up at all. So I'm going to take my Morphe E48 brush and dip into this guy right here. I think it brightened it a little bit. Not super noticeable, but it would be make a good setting powder. And then I think I'm going to take this middle shade right here to do some contouring with. And for this, I am going to use my Morphe M523 brush. This is my favorite contouring brush. That shade is a little bit orangey for me, so I'm going to try this ashier toned one over here. Yeah, I think that that looks nice. Um, this would be a really great palette if you're doing people's makeup or to just carry you throughout the year when your skin is getting fair to tan during the summer and winter. So I think this palette is awesome. It's really great. I'm going to try some nose contouring with this little guy. Cool. I like that. Cool little palette. All right, moving on. We've got to keep moving here. Next thing in the box. A brush. And this is similar to... So this is similar to that new set of Beauty Kate brushes that I have been talking about on my channel. Looks like it's about this size. So you can see that they are very similar brushes. So I'm going to feel... And compare okay so just based on feeling these the Beauty Kate brushes are more densely packed this one is a little bit looser I don't know if you can see that um, I already have foundation on so I'm not going to have any way to use this today but I will try to use this in my next tutorial so we can check it out together and see how well this works as a foundation brush. All right, and the last thing in my box is this Temp2 Liquid Glow. I'm really excited to try this. So Temp2 is normally a airbrush makeup line, but they've started coming out with products that you can use without their airbrush system. And this one they collaborated with BoxyCharm to make a liquid highlighter. So I believe you could use this all over the face under your foundation to give your look a little more glow and radiance, or you can use it as a highlighter on top of your foundation. So I'm going to try it as a highlighter right now and we'll see how it goes. Okay. So it's in a little squirt nozzle. I'm just going to take a little on my finger to start on this cheek. Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and kind of tap that in to blend it. Guys, that's really pretty. Nice compared to this side. You can see no glow. And then this side, super glow. All right, I'm going to take a little on my nose. Gorgeous. All right, so first impression, I really like this. I like how it's looking as a highlighter on top of my foundation. And I'm also really excited to try this underneath my foundation and see how that looks as well. 
So that is everything that I got in my box this month. I am so pleased that I am back on the list with BoxyCharm. I forgot to tell you how much everything was. The highlight and contour palette was $40. The contour brush, oh, this was for contour. I don't think I would contour with that, but the contour brush was $24.99. The brow gal, the brow gal brush retails for fourteen dollars. The brow palette retails for thirty five dollars, and the Temptu liquid glow retails for twenty nine fifty. I don't have a calculator in front of me, but I will put the total value of this box right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before you leave, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button right down there. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know if I should say that. All right, so oh, so opening up the box, everything falls out. Yeah, I'm recording that video right now. Let's try that again. They always have a theme every month. Boy, this is hard to hold. Let me get it out. Okay.